But what happens if you get like, for whatever reason, you know, five, six, 10% swings, which is obviously really bad. Uh, how, how do you, how do you deal with that? Yeah. So uh, essentially what ends up happening when um, there's a lot of arbitrage that's happening is that, uh, for example, if like pair USD depegs significantly, that increases a lot of incentive for people to trade in UST and then get out Luna from the protocol. So that ends up uh, expanding the money supply of Luna. And then that leads uh, in, in a situation where the price of Luna is falling mm -hmm. while the supply of USD is contracting. So uh, this is gonna have limits, right? So the, the con of an algorithmic stablecoin is that it's going to be more brittle than what you get from centralized stablecoins. So what you get in decentralization, you, you get, uh, so you, you have to sacrifice um, economic security on, on the margins. So uh, during you know, small expansions and small redemptions, uh, contractions, it's very robust, but an algorithmic stablecoin probably wouldn't be able to stand like a sudden 80% contraction in the money supply. So this is where Bitcoin comes in, uh, which is something that we recently started to provision as what we call a decentralized Forex reserve. And the idea is that while Luna would be more susceptible to um, you know, death spiral types of situations because it is endogenous uh, collateral to the protocol. If you had Bitcoin, given that it is the largest digital asset, it has the soundest mon monetary policy out of all the cryptos, um, it's going to be a lot more resistant to uh, whatever supply changes happen for mm -hmm. Terra USD. Mm -hmm. so, so in English, for some of our uh, less sophisticated viewers like myself, uh, what you're basically saying is, is that Bitcoin is more stable than other forms of collateral you might use. But at the end of the day, the process is 100% the same. Meaning, right. in, in theory, if I want to peg the value of Bitcoin to the dollar, what I really need to do is I need to short the Bitcoin. Um, but I can't do that because otherwise, the only way to do that is through a centralized entity. Right. And, and right. so since, since you can't do that, you've created this kind of smart contract based process using Luna to, to act as effectively act as the short. Is that more or less uh, correct in financial terms? Correct.